Where you been all this time, Doug? Stunt men like you aren't a dime a dozen. Now, about this steel of ours, what's the hold up? I know what you want, Mitch, but I don't waste my steel to never direct your ass, especially don't if I'm like yours! Don't give me that. Do you know what I could do to your career? Now listen. I'll give you one more opportunity. Either you show up on the set Friday, 8 o'clock. You hear me? Or suffer the cut. And now, pure weather report. Rest of today, partly cloudy, highs in the upper 60 chance of precipitation, chance of Northwest wind, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, days in the lower 60s. Hello? Hey there, Doug. Hey, Tim. How you doing? Oh, not too bad. You have a nice place here. Thanks for having me over. Hey, no problem. Say, I was going to go check chickens. Do you want to come with me? Sure. Yeah, Abigail and I really like living out here in the country. You know, with all the political turmoil and stuff going on, it's nice to just have a breath of fresh air, but Lord knows how long that'll last. It's been pretty tough since Mom and Dad had to leave the country. Back a little while ago, I was pretty upset at first with how boldly Dad was preaching against some of the evil going on in our nation, but didn't really want the same thing to happen to Abigail and me. Just kind of kept my mouth shut. But the Lord has taught us a lot since then. Hey, Doug. Oh, hi, Abigail. Good to see you again. You too. So what's the Lord been doing in your life lately? Well, uh, I don't know. Maybe he's testing me. I finally had a chance to do some stunt work for a major film company, and I found out what they wanted me to do, and it, it, it's no good. Oh, yeah? What do they want you to do? Here, I'll show you. Hell's Pond? What's that all about? It's a horror film. I don't feel right about being involved with the, the, the guy that runs the Society of International Film Directors has a lot of influence and yesterday basically threatened to keep me from his stunts if I don't cooperate. How do you do that? He has his ways. Sometimes I think maybe God could use me as a light somehow if I, if, if I go along with it. I'm really not sure yet. Well, it's easy to strive after everything the world has to offer us, but we need to remember that God gave us all the talents he wants us to be good stewards of and to use those talents to minister to others. I remember Dad always used to remind us how we need to make sure in our callings that we glorify him and not just try to make money or have fun. One word he always used to use to remind us of all that was the word excelsior. It's an old Latin phrase for ever higher. And I just hope, Doug, that you won't compromise because I'm sure if you wait on the Lord then he'll find a place for you to use your skills as a stunt man and it'll provide you more satisfaction than anything else that you could have ever found. I guess so. We'll have to see. Yeah, okay Greg. We'll see you soon. Mm-hmm. He couldn't talk much, but he said that we have to leave within the hour because the authorities have him and Jennifer marked for relocation too, and we'll be meeting him somewhere along the road. We'll have to just quit packing and leave here as quick as we can. Oh, Tim, I'm really nervous. Can we pray? We should. Lord, as we flee to a new nation, we ask that you would send your angels to guard us. Please confuse those who are seeking to do us harm. 
You show us where you'd have us to go and what you'd have us to do. We know that we can't do anything in our own strength, but we can in yours. In Jesus' name, amen. Tim, what do you think of calling Doug to join us? He knows a lot of self-defense stuff from all his stunt training. I think you're right. He might be God's provision for us. You keep going here and I'll be back in a minute. Like I said, Tim, I just don't know. I mean, can't you just go along with what they're saying and they're not asking that much? And I'm so Christian too, and I haven't gotten near as much trouble today. Yeah. Well, first of all, it's too late to turn back now. And you know, I wouldn't even if I could. I have to obey God no matter what the cost. Well, I'm sorry, Tim, but I don't know. If I come, I come. Just don't call me yet, okay? Okay, but we're leaving in a few minutes. As each one has received a gift, minister one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. people of safety because we really don't know what we're up against. ID 10 T calling Sierra 12. ID 10 T calling Sierra 12. You read me. Over. ID 10 T calling Sierra 12. ID 10 T calling Sierra 12. Potential targets in sight. You read me. Over. Just act normal, everybody. Greg, you remember Doug's plan? Yep. Miles up north. We're visiting some friends. We'll be there a couple days. The other vehicles with me. Pull ahead and get out and stand by the sign.
Sergeant, guard while I search. I could do to you for having this book. That's my job, taking care of filthy trash like you. Doug. Bitch. You decided not to take my advice, huh? Now I can kill two birds with one stone. Everyone down! How's it going? It's going pretty good. How's the setup? We got most everything ready for the night. That's good. Well, we still have a long way to go yet, so we should probably keep a watch kept up all night. I'll take the first one. And here's something I'd like you to read when you have a chance. I can do that. Excelsior. God, it's been hard. Thanks for giving me a place to use my accounts for you to go. Excelsior.